everybody, this is Luke and today we're finally going to answer the famous question, which is how much battery would be left after just 10 kilometers on a Tongsheng 500 watt mid-drive kit. This video will be the last of a series of four experiments about the range on a 500 watt mid-drive kit. Talking about that and before diving into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future experiments on this channel. That said, let me just recap the previous video in order to give you a little bit of context. After the first Bufang vs Tongshen comparison video that you can watch by clicking the link up here, I started to think about comparing the two mid-drag conversion kits in a reasonable, tangible way. This video is not about max speed. If that's what you're interested in, just buy a Bufang kit and don't bother. The two motors are very different about the way the pedal assistance works, hence the way the energy is consumed. While the Bufang kit uses a cadence sensing system that just pushes you until you reach the predefined speed for the selected assistance level, the Tongsheng one uses a torque sensing system that proportionally multiplies your legs force based on the selected assistance level. But how does this translate into battery consumption? Simply put, how much battery will be left after 10.7 km, corresponding to 6.5 miles? To answer this, I made four tests. In the first two, I used the Bufang BBS-02B, the 36V 500W version. The e-bike weighs exactly 23.8 kg with the battery mounted on. My weight is 85 kg. I had the exact same ride, the first time just pedaling and the second one throttle only. I tried to stay at 25 km per hour average speed. To those guys who said it's too slow, I would love to ask what's their average, not max speed. In a mixed traffic area, when you have traffic lights, cars and other bikes around you. After a while, I made kind of the same experiment again, this time using the Tongsheng TSDZ2. 36 volt 500 watt mid drive kit. To be completely honest and transparent with you guys, I measured the weight of the Z-Bike too, battery included, and it is 21 kilograms. In the same way, but with some extra traffic lights, I covered the same exact distance twice, the first one just pedaling and the second one throttle only. In order to measure the battery charge on the Tongsheng kit, I used a voltmeter, while on the Bufang kit, I watched the on screen volt indicator. In both cases, I use a 36V 15.6Ah battery, fully charged at 42V at the beginning of each session. That was the story so far. Now, let's talk about results. Once again, consider that on the same path, a less than 500W motor will save more energy, while a greedier one will consume more. With the Bufang kit, in pedal assist mode, we pass from 42V to 396 Using the throttle only, instead, we went down to 37.9 volts. About the Tongsheng kit, I measured 40 volts at the end of the pedal assist ride. Then, at the end of the throttle only ride, the battery was 38.6 volts. This time, I decided not to show the values in percentage, because some motors cut off the battery at 32 volts, some others at 31 or even at 30. In order for me to remain fair, I decided to stick with volt values and show you a graph instead. Just keep in mind that trying to stay above 34 volts, around 20% of charge, would be the optimal for a long-lasting battery. So if you were asking yourself, is the Tongsheng 500W mid-drive kit able to beat the Bufang counterpart in terms of energy saving with its torque sensing system? Well, the answer is definitely yes. And in the same way, is the Bufang 500W mid-drive kit able to beat the Tongsheng counterpart in terms of power, avoiding extra effort on your legs and with extra speed? Yet again, yes. So, which one is the best? That, my friends, is up to you to decide. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you like this video, feel free to hit the like button to support my work. And if you haven't done yet, hit the subscribe button with the bell icon so you won't miss any future video. In the next video, I may have an announcement to share with you. But until then, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day and see you on the next one. I started to think about. Oh, some took. Devi sta muto, muto!